Now here it's still the old formatting, so we hit refresh, and you notice now this is blue. Now you'll notice that this is blue and underlined, and I told you never to do that unless it was a hyperlink. Now we don't have a hyperlink in here, so let's change that to red. I can make the color red, so now we save it, and hit refresh. Now it's red. George is my best friend. Now, if we wanted to make is my gr green, let's do another font tag. Now, this is another color, so color equals, and we can type in green. And after is my, don't forget to close that font tag. If you don't close it, weird things are going to happen. So now we've got green for is my. When we go to save it, we go here and we have to hit refresh to see the changes. Now, is my is green. We go back here and you start to see that this starts looking like semi complicated font, whatever. Now, what would happen? See, we've centered our text and then we've closed our center. What would happen if we typed text right here? So let's see. George is my best friend. Let's type, but Carl is also very cool. So let's save this page and let's hit refresh to see what happens. Now, see, since we put new text in after the center tag was closed, this text doesn't know to be centered and most web pages will be by default, they'll be left aligned. So if I go here, I can highlight this text, and if I wanted that to still be centered, I can highlight it, I can cut because I want it to be removed, and I can paste it in right in here. Let's go to paste. Now let's save it, and we'll see that since it's within, before the center tag got closed, you'll see this text, and now we can go here, and we can hit refresh, and now you'll see that it's on this line. See how there's no space between the period and the but? That comes from this. We've got a period, then we have all these tags. So in between the opening tag, you need a space. Or I could have put the space here. So I either need it after the period or before the but. So now when I save it and I hit refresh, you'll notice it spread out and gave me a little space. Now, if I wanted, but Carl is also very cool. If I wanted that on the next line, but I still wanted it to be centered, here's what I would do. I would go to right before but, and I would hit break, B-R. Okay, that's going to put it on the next line. Now, this is one of the tags I do not need to close. So for break and paragraph, I don't need to close it. So I just go save it. Don't ask me why you don't need to close it. It's just one that you don't need to close. Because I guess after the line is broken, it doesn't need to say stop breaking the line. It only breaks the line once. So we saved it, and we're going to go hit refresh, and you'll see it puts, but Carl is also very cool. Now, this looks kind of close, so we can go back, and instead of a break, let's change that to a paragraph. So now it'll skip a line and put the but Carl is also very cool on the next line. So we go to file. Oh, I hit open by accident. Don't want to open anything. File, and just... Save. I could also be hitting Control and S at the same time, and that's the practical way you're going to want to do it. I go here, and I hit Refresh, and I notice that with the paragraph, it skipped a line. And if I wanted to skip another line, I could just put another paragraph tag in there to skip another line. So I go to File, Save. I go here, and I hit Refresh, and it didn't do it. Sometimes it doesn't do that, so... You can put in a paragraph, and if it doesn't do it, put in a paragraph and a line break and see what happens. Sometimes you have to play with this stuff. So I'm going to go up and save it. I'm doing save this way so you can see how I hit save. And if I hit refresh, now it puts it on another line. So if you want to do two paragraphs in a row and it doesn't work, do paragraph, line break, and then you'll see this is put on the, the ne next line. Now, if we wanted to make a hyperlink, Let's give myself some room here, center, so we don't start confusing these things. And let's just space it out. When you do hand coding, 
it doesn't matter. All this white space is ignored between the tags. So it doesn't matter that I'm creating space. This is just so I can find the text more easily. And it's nice to read all one line. It makes it easier to kind of see if your tags are nested properly or not. But it can also be like this and it makes it easier for you to read when you separate like that. So butt curl is also very cool. Now suppose I wanted to make this a hyperlink. So here is ha the tag for a hyperlink. So a hyperlink tag goes A. A is the name of the tag, but then the attribute is href equals, and then if I want all these words to be linked, I gotta close my tag. It's just close it and the name A. Then the href, I type in, let's link that to rapid4x.com. Type in the full link. Okay, now this is going to be a hyperlink to rapid4x.com. File, save, and I go up here, hit refresh, and now it's a hyperlink. And if I click on it, you'll notice it takes me to rapid4x.com. So if we go back, you see that's how you do a hyperlink. Now I'm going to show you some more tags in the upcoming videos, but tags, you can see how they work. They're very simple. Just remember that you open a tag, the tag may or may not have an attribute with a value, then the tag always has something in the middle of it, text or an image that you want it to affect, and then you always close the tag except for the paragraph tag and the, the line break tag. And you always want to nest your tags. So it's like unraveling a telescope. You work from the inside out and that's how tags are nested.